I've already created the intro for this vlog um, and I've also done uh, a lot of the background work that I needed to to finish it but I stopped on my way home at this valley um, for one very particular reason other than it looking absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know me I have post-traumatic stress disorder. Now this is a common thing afflicting people in the army but it can happen to anyone who's gone through a traumatic event uh, and my PTSD directly relates back to bushfires that happened in 2009 in Australia called the Black Saturday bushfires, biggest ones in history in this country uh, and it's full on and when you have PTSD you have triggers and you have triggers directly related back to the traumas that you experience um, when your trauma happened. So for me it's things like smoke but it doesn't necessarily have to be smoke it could be clouds on the horizon which is what set me off today so when I left home I threw my camera gear in my bag uh, in my car and I um, got everything ready I was excited until that point and then it became a struggle but I persisted through and this video became less about me creating a vlog and more of me finishing a project even when I was not feeling the best because I want to get better at this, this is my craft, this is what makes me feel good um, and puts me in a better headspace at the end of the day. So this is what this story is about, it might not be perfect but for me it was the best I could do on the day and I'm very proud of that. Today I threw all my gear in the car, I had no idea what I was doing. When I got here I, I was really enjoying myself, I seen some nice gold go down the sluice and I thought today would be a day to really try and work on my photography skills. I want to do some long exposure shots of the sluice um, and, and some hopefully nice scenery shots of the river so that's exactly what I'm going to do. We've got a nice bit of gold in the mat so I thought I'd video it for you before I try and take a photo of it. see if I can't show you the gold in the sluice before I lift it out because um, we've got a, quite a bit of it sitting at one of the front riffles. If you've ever wondered what gold looks like, it looks like that stuff. Look at it all in that little pocket there. That is a lot of fine flower gold. Here we have it, we've got a little bit of gold. We've done about 20 shovels, so not overly much dirt. We're just, we're just mucking around today. Have a look at the shiny gold. <laughs> well, before it's turned into a ring or a necklace or any other bit of jewelry, that's what it starts life out as. The little picker's not in there. That's in my, um, in my snuffer bottle, nice and safe. This has been an incredibly interesting experiment because I've discovered that uh, using long exposure photos, although mine are not that good at the moment, I'm still learning the concepts. Uh, they, they're teaching me about where the water's flowing, where the gold's actually going. So in gold prospecting, you follow the currents and um, Seeing the currents in water sometimes is very very tricky, but that long exposure brings it out absolutely mint perfect You can see it really clearly. So I've accidentally stumbled across a prospecting method long exposure photos <laughs> Truth be told, I don't even know what I'm doing today. See, having post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is an absolute bugger. It depends on what gave it to you is gonna give you a different set of symptoms, a different set of triggers, a different set of reactions, um, and who you are as a person, how you brought up. Very complicated illness. Um, and this is my quiet place. This is the place that I come to relax, to get back in the zone, to, get, to feel good again but it also brings me face to face with the thing that gave me the trauma. And that's the hard part because 
I'm both in a place that I want to be and in a place that triggers my anxieties and my depression and everything else. And today I wanted to have a camera in my hand and create something, create something beautiful, create something that looked really good and enjoy my day and bring myself back down to earth and I'm really struggling to do that. But it's been said many times before, there's no reason not to finish a video and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go home and I'm going to edit it and it might not be uploaded and if it is uploaded, great. But at the end of the day, I'll finish the video, I found some gold, and I've had an awesome day out with Grizzly. So I think today's been a success, even if right now I don't feel like it is. Maybe in an hour or two, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, when I'm looking at this video finished, I will feel good about it. And I'll know that this day was a success because I pushed through.